Heights of sixth form students are normally distributed with a mean of 165 centimetres and a standard deviation of 8 centimetres. So we know that the height of a student, I'm calling x, yeah, the random variable x, uh, represents the height of a student and we know that heights are normally distributed with a mean of 165 that's the population mean and a standard deviation of 8 centimeters so that means a variance of 64 or 8 squared now let's say we randomly select one student from this population and we want to work out the probability that the height of the student is less than 163.2 centimeters. Now the first step is to standardize this value 163.2 so we're going to use the standardizing formula Z is equal to X minus the mean over sigma and putting the values in gives us 163.2 so this value here represents x minus the population mean 165 divided by the standard deviation 8 So we have this value for Z minus 0 0.225. Okay, so minus 0 0.225, that's what we've got for Z. Now looking at the AQA formula book, okay, we need to go to the normal distribution tables. Uh, here we go, page 24, table 3. if you look at the accuracy of the Z values you have one decimal point here and you have the second decimal point here so we need to round this value to two decimal places okay, this is what we're working with so in effect we're working out the probability that Z is less than minus 0.23 okay so the whole process of standardizing changes x to z we've standardized 163.2 to a z value of minus 0.23 the inequality remains the same less than both of these. Okay, so this is what we're working out. Uh, we need a sketch of this normal distribution, and you should always do a sketch. And on this sketch, the zero is here, and we've got z values along here and the scale is typically 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So we're looking for minus 0 0.23. Okay, minus 0 0.23. This arrow is pointing to the left, so you shade to the left, like this. And then go to the tables and look up this value here. When you go to the tables you'll notice there are no negative Z values here. These are all positive. We have a negative Z value. So ignore the minus and look up 0 0.23. Okay. 
Okay, there's the 0 0.2, and there's the 3. And they meet up on this number, 0 0.59095. 0 0.59095. Now clearly, this probability does not represent this shaded region. Okay, that's about 59%. And that's not 59% of the total area under the graph. Okay, this probability actually represents the right-hand side, this side here, the unshaded part. So we need to do 1 minus to work out the probability in this shaded region. Okay, so 1 minus 0 0.59095, 1 minus 0 0.59095, that will give you 0 0.40905, 0 0.40905. 0 0.40905. Okay, so that's the answer to the original question here. So if you take one student at random from this population, the probability that the student's height is less than 163.2 centimeters is 0 0.40905. So there's an approximately 40.9% chance that the student will have a height less than 163.2 centimeters. Okay, now, there's another way of using um, uh, the normal distribution and working with probabilities, and that's working in reverse order. So, in reverse order, if you were given this probability here, how would you work backwards to work out this value here, 163.2? Okay, that's what we're going to do next. Okay, so working in reverse order... We're starting with a probability, and then we're going to do a sketch. And on the sketch, you show this probability, you work out any z values, and then you go to the formula, and from this formula, you will rearrange all of this to work out what x is equal to. Okay, so you're doing the exact opposite of these steps, which is what we've just done here. Okay, there's x, there's the formula, we worked out z, we did the sketch, we worked out the probability. And in reverse order, you start with the probability, you do the sketch, work out z, put everything into the formula, rearrange this to work out what x is equal to. Okay, that's what we're going to do now. Okay, so let's say that the probability that some randomly selected student has a height less than, and this is the unknown value, I'm going to call this k, yeah, it has a height less than k centimeters, is equal to 0. 8, 2. Okay, so there's some specific height and the probability that a randomly selected student has a height below this value is 82% or 0 0.82. Now, following this process, so we're starting with P, we're now going to do a sketch and represent our probability on there. Okay, so here's the sketch, and on the sketch, I've got z values along here, and as before, you've got 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and I'm going to draw a line on here, and 82% of the area of this graph should be to the left of that line. Okay, that's pointing to the left, the inequality here. So that 82% must be to the left of the line. So 
I need to draw a line roughly here so that it would seem reasonable that 82% was to the left of that line. Now, if the probability on this side is 0 0.82, then the probability in the unshaded region is 0 0.18. And whenever you do a sketch like this where probabilities are given to you, you should always work out every probability for every region. Okay, so this 0 0.18, perhaps we're not going to use that in the calculation, but you should still show this on your sketch. Yeah, it may become useful for something else. So at this stage, because we have the probability, and we're working in reverse order, so we need to work out the Z value that goes here. Okay, so we go to the tables, and this time we're looking for table 4, okay, on page 25. And the reason for looking at table 4 is because the probability here in this table is on the outside and the Z values are on the inside. And the probability that we're looking for is 0 0.82, okay, 82%. And here's the 0 0.8, there's the 2, and there's the Z value, 0 0.9154. Okay, so 0 0.9154 goes here. Okay, so we've done the sketch, marked the probabilities, and worked out the missing Z value here. So going back to our steps process here, so we've got the probability, we've done the sketch, worked out Z, it's the standardizing formula next. Okay, so let's go to the standardizing formula z is equal to x minus the mean over sigma. What we're looking for in this formula is x. Everything else is known. Yeah, we have the value for z. We've just worked it out. We have the value for the standard deviation that was given to you in the question. And we have the value for the population mean uh, that's already given in the question as well. So the rearranged version of this to make x the subject is x is equal to population mean plus z times sigma. So x is equal to the population mean, 165, 165, plus the z value, 0 0.9154, 0 0.9154, times the population standard deviation, sigma, which is 8. It's not 8 squared, that's the variance. Okay, sigma squared is equal to 64. The standard deviation is just the 8 times 8. Okay, so back to the calculator. 165 plus 0 0.9 one five four times eight one hundred and seventy two point three okay so x is equal to one hundred and seventy two point three centimeters okay I'm going to go back to the actual question and what we've answered is this that the probability that x is less than 172.3 is 0 0.82. Okay, so a randomly selected student, or that student to have a height that's less than 172.3 centimetres, well the probability of that occurring is 0 0.82 or 82%.